Research shows that the vast majority of transformational initiatives do not succeed, no matter who does the study or what methodology they use. The failure rate always comes out at around 70 or 80 or even sometimes as high as 90%. That's just tragic. Many say that change is hard. That's often true. But so are a lot of other things, like putting a satellite up in space or performing brain surgery. And we certainly wouldn't accept a similar failure rate with those things. Throughout human history, we've progressed by learning how the world works and then building strategies based on that knowledge. The good thing is we actually know a lot about change. Hundreds of studies over many decades have established that number one, transformational ideas come from outside and always incur resistance. Number two, there is a common and persistent cap gap in which shifts in knowledge and attitudes do not necessarily result in a change in practices. We might know we shouldn't eat the brownie doesn't mean we're not going to eat the brownie. And in a similar vein, knowing doing gaps are commonly found in organizations of every type, size, and structure. Number three, transformations follow an S-curve pattern, meaning they start off slowly, hit a tipping point, and then hopefully accelerate exponentially. And number four, ideas are socially transmitted through peer networks. Yet when we look at what common change management frameworks advise, we get a very different story. They tell us, for instance, to create a sense of urgency around change. But if change follows an S-curve, starts out slowly and then accelerates, why would that be necessary? In fact, trying to start with a bang is likely to trigger resistance far sooner than you need to. Another thing they tell us is to create awareness, desire, and knowledge about the change initiative. Yet the evidence clearly shows that shifts in knowledge and attitudes do not necessarily result in shifts in practice. They advise us to use emotive rather than analytical language. Okay, that's not necessarily a bad idea, but study after study shows that change is socially transmitted from peer to peer. So communication strategy is a secondary, not a primary issue. The truth is that change is not about persuasion, but empowerment. It's driven by small groups, loosely connected, but united by a shared purpose. As leaders, it's our job to help those groups to connect and to inspire them with a sense of shared mission and shared purpose.